Okay, we're talking to Brianna. She's homeless. She's a former sex worker. She lives partially out of a storage unit. She's a sex offender. She's a registered sex offender procuring a minor for prostitution. That I did not actually do. She used to be, uh, like I said, a sex worker herself, and she's told us a lot about that today. So, once you were heavy on the streets, Brianna, and the, been heavy on the streets. Nebraska Avenue is when you first got heavy in the prostitution, walking Nebraska Avenue, right? At 14 years old, right? That must have been tough. Can you tell us about the first time you ever got beat up walking the streets of Nebraska? <laughs> oh, man, I was out there. I got jumped by these girls. Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't John's. It wasn't customers. It was, it was girls, other girls trying to make money. It was competitors. Yes. So what happened? They were older than me, though, man. I was a kid. Like. How old were they? Old, of age at least. You know what I'm saying? They were at least like 18? That, that had to have What'd they do to you? They jumped me. <laughs> okay, did then... Did that stop me from fucking doing what I wanted to fucking they, do? Did they beat you up? I had a black eye, a little bit of a bloody nose, but... Okay, so it wasn't anything too severe. You didn't have to go to the hospital. Okay, tell us about the next time you got beat up from walking the streets of Nebraska Avenue in Tampa as a prostitute. Mostly just tricks. <coughs> Would try to, or, or dope boys, or fucking... Yeah. Is there another time, if you can't really remember the second time, is there a, another time that stands out in your mind when you when you got beat up for some reason because it was severe or because of who did it? What's that, the, that time that I got my head, my head busted into the concrete who by did? those two tricks. Over there on 34th Street, Pinellas County. Okay. A couple years so ago. So they picked you up in the car to have sex with you for money. Is that correct? Yeah. One say, of the guys I knew, the other one I didn't. And the guy worked at the barbershop down there. It's now closed down. Okay. And, um, yeah, I went in there. I had already had my own money on me. And, um, basically, one of the guys was on some bullshit, and the other one wasn't. On some bullshit? Yeah, like, he wanted to rob me. And then the other one didn't want to. He just wanted to just do some business and fucking go. So he didn't know what to do. And the dude just ended up smashing my head in the concrete. Did you go to the hospital after that? I woke up at my homeboy's house in the bathtub. Bathtub because you were bleeding? Is that why you were in the tub or some other reason? Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't, Do you he have wanted any... me to go to the hospital, but I wouldn't go. Do you have any scars or anything from that? I, have a, I mean, you can feel it, but... Okay, nothing really... nothing visible because the hair is there, I guess, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you can definitely feel it. Okay. We're going to end this segment of the interview and get back with Brianna on more content about her having been a sex worker walking the streets as a prostitute in Nebraska Avenue in Tampa at 14 years old, ladies and gentlemen.